This year marks 100 years of Vizcaya's gardens. Vizcaya's patron, James Deering, uh, arrived for his first season at Vizcaya in 1916, but the gardens were not complete in 1922. To celebrate Vizcaya's gardens and its makers, we are undertaking several conservation projects that will honor Vizcaya's original design and will bring some light to Deering's arts patronage of contemporary arts, while also enhancing our visitors' experience. We're standing on the Casino Mount south of the main house. This area of the gardens is part of the uh, Italian-inspired uh, former gardens that were designed by Diego Suarez, a Colombian-born landscape architect that was trained in Italy. The sign of the casino, which is an open loggia that was inspired by the architecture of Villa Caprarola in Italy. And during visitors and guests would have been able to um, use the space for gatherings and parties and guests would have been able to see a magnificent view of the south property on the other side which contain water canals, uh, islands and other architectural fantasies. To decorate the ceiling of the casino, Chalfin and Deering had purchased a 19th century ceiling painting in the manner of Tiepolo that was used on the border of the larger composition but needed to fill the center so he commissioned the center panels to the Swiss painter Paul Tevenas whose work at Vizcaya would be one of his last creations. The collaboration between Tevenas and the 18th century artist made a beautiful piece that unfortunately suffered from continued exposure to the elements of South Florida. The casino is a favorite place for visitors at Vizcaya and unfortunately has been closed due to conservation problems in the casino mural ceiling. Last year, one of the panels unfortunately came down and we realized at that point that the substructure had some problems. So in January, we took down all of the panels of the mural uh, in order to work on both the mural itself as well as the substructure that hangs it. So over the next few months, the panels will be going to a paintings conservator here in Miami where they will work on not only the surface of the mural but the backing supports as well. Once those are ready to return, the substructure that hangs the mural will also be rehabilitated in order to provide a better system of hanging for the mural itself as well as provide ventilation for the area above the mural. The last two projects, part of our garden centennial work, are here in the Marine Garden. The Marine Garden is a space located between the formal gardens and the south property, which was a space meant to capture or evoke the spirit of the Everglades. It had a water canals, islands, and paths to Ramon around freely. The space was created with two basins connected by a bridge, and um, on the approach of the bridge would have been four, um, four columns, and on top of them, four peacock sculptures that were commissioned to Gaston Lachès who was at the time at the forefront of modern sculpture in America. He had been part of the uh, famous Armory Show in 1913, along with other artists that are also represented at Vizcaya, like Robert Withrow Chandler and Charles Ramsey. Lachis was commissioned the peacocks, which were brought as plaster models down to South Florida in 1920, and they were carved with native stone. These columns were taken down in 2005 because of uh, damage that had occurred to them over time and luckily they were taken down prior to a hurricane that came through in 2005. So we have these in storage and we'll be working with the original uh, columns as well as the original designs and plaster molds to faithfully recreate these columns and peacocks and uh, install them back in the garden for our guests to enjoy once again. The third project is the fence and gate in the marine garden. The gate that we see today is not original. Separating the marine garden and the rose garden used to be a broad iron fence that was commissioned to Samuel Yelling. Yelling had migrated from Poland and had established his shop in Philadelphia, and he became a really important figure to the arts and crafts movement. He was a master of his craft, and for Vizcaya, he created both work for inside the house and the gardens. For this one, Chalfin and Dieren have purchased some European grills years prior that were given to Yelling for alterations and adding into or incorporating into a new design based on drawings that were produced by Chalfin's office. The original gate sustained damages from the Great Hurricane of 1926, and it was 
repaired by or under the supervision of Paul Chalfin in the 30s, but it was finally replaced in the 80s. To replicate the new gate, we'll be using architectural drawings found in the archives, and they're the same ones that Samuel Yelling used in 1920. The new gate will be replicated using original methods of metalworking that would have been how the original wrought iron gate would have been created. And that'll be made in a shop in Homestead and delivered and installed here to Vizcaya. To donate or learn more about these projects, please visit us at vizcaya.org slash garden100.